Hello there Pisces. Welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your singles reading for January and February 2024. If you're single and looking for new love, this is the reading for you. Uh, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate such things, a wonderful New Year as I'm uh, doing this reading uh, on New Year's Day uh, for you guys. So um, leave me a comment below. Say hello. Where are you watching from? Um, what is your outlook for 2024? It does seem to be a little bit brighter. And we kick it off with Pluto entering Aquarius, leaving the heavy-handed energy of Capricorn, uh, the sluggishness, the slowness, and oh man, those heavy life lessons, right? So Pluto and Aquarius, we got a little bit of a taste of it last year. And here we are uh, towards the end of January 20th, 21st, depending where you are. Pluto is landing in Aquarius once again. This is giving you an opportunity to really get some finality, to get some closure, to bring about an end to certain things, um, to indecision, to fears, to past behaviors, energies, um, you know, it brings in an opportunity for you to heal and for you to really embrace the future, really embrace. You might be feeling a little bit better, feeling a little bit like you've been through the ringer, but you've come out the other side and you are much more positive about what the future is bringing for you and especially in regards to love in your life. Okay, so this Aquarian energy is a lot different than what we've been used to. You're going to feel it. You might feel it right away. You might feel it slowly evolve a little bit there for you, but it is bringing us a little bit more freedom. It's bringing us more clarity and a lot more action, right? A lot lighter, brighter energy is air sign energy as opposed to the heavy um, earth sign energy that we have had. Now, Pluto will bring change and transformation and growth. It also brings you back into your personal power. And Pluto also uh, can sometimes <laughs> bring things out of the woodwork. All right, because Pluto is where we do shadow work. Pluto goes down into the depths and brings things back out. Okay, and it's for us to deal with, for us to clear the path, clear the air. Um, so it could be a really happy surprise. It might be some suppressed emotions or something, but it's an opportunity for to wipe the slate clean or to really embrace something new for the future. So we've got the Knight of Swords coming out for you first, right off the bat, right out of the gate. There's some air sign energy for you. We've got the Two of Wands there for you as well. I'll explain what all of these mean. The Eight of Cups. It's a challenge letting things go sometimes and looking to the future. The Knight of Cups. And we've got the Queen of Swords there as well. All right, let's see the back. Oh, beautiful. The back of the deck here, we've got the star Aquarian energy. This is showing the universe is aligning people, situations, and opportunities for you in alignment with, the, with what you're manifesting into your world. The star is about bringing in an energy of healing, of peace, of calm, of serendipity. This is where we have renewed hope. For the future, we're feeling a little bit more inspired about what is to come. And this is really bringing us in a lot of blessings in this energy. So really a big shift for you all. And of course, your birthday is not too far away. So you've got your astrological new year coming up. And um, this is exciting, right? So it's really that cleansing and purging and looking and the future is bright for you, miracles and blessings happen when the star comes out. Um, we get some beautiful, balanced healing energy there, and there's just a lot of magic in the air when we do get this. Now, with this being at the bottom of the deck, this is the energy that is underlying you for the next couple of months, but there could also possibly be uh, something happening in Aquarius season for you. It could be the Pluto shift for you, but it could be other things. Um, there may also be an Aquarian person coming in for you. So Aquarius Pisces connection can be very interesting. Um, got air sign and water sign um sometimes you know sometimes you can make it work sometimes it eh, depends um but uh i'm not so much into the pairing up of uh of astrological sun signs as some people are because there is so many things that make up who you are right so some people might say oh you shouldn't put a scorpio with a capricorn um you know or something like that but there's underlying energies in there and planetary influences so um, you know I don't really subscribe to that wholeheartedly at all um, and you know why pigeonhole yourself 
right? Keep an open mind, keep an open heart, because there's magic in the air for you here. So the stars are very much aligning for you. But yes, there could be an Aquarian person that comes in or someone with Aquarius in their chart. This person would be um, maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit out there, right? Um, but that's not so bad right? Because they're futuristic, the future thinking, they're forward thinking. They can quite often uh, almost like, it, it almost seems like they can predict the future a little bit. They know you're coming, right? They probably do. Um, but this is a very well-balanced person typically and someone who reaches for the stars, right? So uh, they might be a little bit weird, but you know, hey, weird isn't that bad, right? So anyway, so you could have an Aquarius person coming in. But we do have communication at the forefront for you with the Knight of Swords. So this is opening up the lines of communication. This is you making a decision, being very clear what you want, and then going for it. The Knight of Swords takes action, takes initiative, and just says, yes, this is what I want. I'm going for it. So you're filled with gusto and bravado here, Pisces, and it's exciting energy. You might be really feeling like a weight of a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders when Pluto does make this shift um because you don't like to be weighed down right you're um you know you're a little bit of a dreamer right you're talented you're creative you're artistic and you're very in touch with your emotions and you know and it's like being weighed down and some heavy energy just doesn't really work for you for the long run right so it's like woohoo i'm free all right but yes some of you may have some very important conversations some very interesting communication that's coming in here for you and uh, whether it's internal or external it feels like it sets you free and it really um sets you in motion for what is to come we've got the emperor energy here for you okay now for one you might feel as though you're you're really feeling like you're in a good place right you're feeling solid and stable you're feeling like you've you know got both feet on the ground a good head on your shoulders and it's like I know what I want because the emperor energy brings in an energy of um, taking control of being in the driver's seat you know what you want and you're going to get it right so really great energy there for you Pisces but the emperor can also come in as um, a person right and this is Aries energy ruled by mars and um in this there's there could be something significant that happens by aries season all right so right on the cusp right at the end of your um astrological uh uh, uh sign ending right so what do we have there um we've got uh february so march somewhere in March and that's important to note because we do have eclipses coming in in the spring and this can bring a big shift in energy too it can bring some change it can also bring some surprises so between now and Aries season there's something that is going to transpire for you in a very magical way now you could be a new love a new person right you could could be an Aries person or it could just be exactly what you ordered from the universe um, but it's a new beginning right and it's a new connection for you here so it can be very wonderful for you um might be very um exciting but um maybe a little bit scary at the same time these are all in the upright so it's all good um but uh you know the emperor is that fiery aries energy right and you're in water sign so what do you get when you mix fire and water you get a little bit of steam right so it could be something very exciting there and very intriguing for you um and it could be an aries person but you could meet someone who has just had a really good head on their shoulders um they're really good in business or you know they're very wise um, in their energy and when they know what they want they don't play games right the emperor doesn't play head games um, doesn't play games with your heart right and is just like they want you so quite exciting there in that and that energy so you could have that coming in quite quickly okay or at least in the next few months remember all this energy is being activated for you in January and February but it could play out a little bit longer than that just depends on your personal situation but you could be getting some advice from someone here as well with the emperor card someone who has your best interests at heart someone who has been there done that they wrote the book all right and so they could give you some very very good advice and uh in regards to your love life so you may want to follow it we have the two of wands here for you as well now this is a blessing for you making decisions making the right decisions and making the right moves the two of wands is where we feel good we feel inspired 
and we have a plan we're setting the wheels in motion and so this could be where you know the intentions that you've set and the wheels that you've set in motion you get what you want right you get what you um have manifested into reality here um the two of wands also you do benefit um and you are blessed with the ability to make a decision this is the kind of person I want. This is the qualities that I want. This is the kind of relationship that I want. And that's important to know when we go head first into these things. Because if you don't know what you want, how do you know when to say no? How do you know when to say yes? Right? It's really difficult sometimes, right? So I feel like you're getting a little bit of clarity and you're setting those intentions and it feels good. It feels like you're making the right choices there with that. We've got the Queen of Swords here for you as well with that. Remember, these are blessings. So um, the Queen of Swords, important conversations, opening up lines of communication, making decisions, um, really trusting your intuition in this energy as well. But the Queen of Swords, I do feel that there may be somewhere where you're putting up some healthy boundaries somewhere. The Queen of Swords is very important, very positive at doing that and is very good at detaching as well which is really good because the eight of cups that's here is in your challenge position okay and the eight of cups is a challenging energy anyway right and we see this person there packing their bags and moving on but it's a little bit of a struggle and in that eight of cups energy we do need to look forward to the future and we need to be willing to let some things go and relieve ourselves of the burdens that we've been carrying and but it's not easy task right it's not always easy to look forward to the future with positivity and with optimism and you know with with you know bright and shiny eyes right we have to deal with some things first so you might have something that you're dealing with here that's causing you some grief that's a little bit challenging to let go of or move forward from However, remember here that the future is bright. There's things opening up for you here. You may be getting some closure here, especially with the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups there, okay? Um, you might be having a very important conversation with somebody, especially if you are um, in any kind of transitional phase here at the moment, right? Um, you know, maybe you've had a relationship that ran its course a long time ago and finally you're doing something about it right? That could be that there, but it's really letting go of the emotional baggage. We've got baggage on this card being loaded into a truck and really that emotional baggage that we carry. We don't want to carry that forward with us in 2024. 2024 is an eight year, two plus two plus four, eight, 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 okay? And in that eight energy, this is about manifestation. This is about being flexible and adaptable and being in the flow. This is about recognizing your unlimited potential and harnessing all the abundance of the universe, right? And to do that, we have to be able to detach from the things that are restricting our progress forward. So you're making strides, you're making progress here, but yeah, there's some emotional stuff there that you may need to deal with. We've got the justice card here for you as well. Um, also in your challenge position, okay, but justice shall prevail. So I feel like here in this energy that, you know, yeah, you may have some resolution to um, a past relationship, um, severing ties, wrapping up legalities, anything like that. So maybe you get divorce papers in the mail and this might um, bring up some old feelings for you, right? Process them. You're, all of your feelings are real and valid. Have a good ugly cry if you need to, and then pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and look to that future. That Aquarian energy with the stars showing you that there's better times ahead for you, okay? And we need to set our sights on, on you know, tomorrow, on the year ahead, right? And not dwell and linger on the past. So I do feel that there is some closure coming in for you here in a really positive way. Now the Justice card um, being Libra and energy. Libra, yes, you could potentially be dealing with a Libra person or perhaps this is who you're letting go. Um, the Libra, the Justice card brings in some good karma. Sometimes we have a challenge believing that, right? That there is some really good karma headed your way. And sometimes it's just like, uh, I don't know. I've had so many. I've had so many ups and downs. I don't know. I don't know if I believe that, right? You know, is there really good karma? You know, I've, uh, so you might be kind of, you know, trying to talk yourself out of something while the universe is trying to bring something in. So just be aware of that energy um, there. But the justice card is about 
um, being honest and truthful and making decisions. And sometimes we get stuck there. Sometimes that's really hard to do. But in your challenge position here, it is not impossible. It is just something that causes you grief, causes you delays, or something that you need to work through before you can continue on your journey forward. So honesty and truth, not just internally, but also externally, will set you free. All right. But I do feel that perhaps you are meeting an air sign. We've got a lot of air energy coming in here for you. And it may just be that this shift is probably making you a little bit uncomfortable, right? Because it is setting you free, right? But, um, you know, I also do feel like in this energy that, you know, it's like you may need to find ways to keep yourself grounded. All right. Um, because it is air right? So we're like floating away a little bit. Um, you might have your head in the clouds a little bit, or you just might feel like things are moving really fast. So find ways to ground your ground yourself, connect with nature, go for a walk, you know, um, engage in some meditation and that kind of thing. Um, you know, because there is the air energy is a lot faster than, um, than what's been around us lately. Right. And we do have another queen of swords over here. So we got queen of swords here twice, right? So um, you might have a lot of thoughts, you might have a lot of decisions you're making, um, you know, you might have a lot of conversations that you're having and talking to new people and you just might find that you may feel a little bit spiraling out of control. So getting yourself grounded in whatever way works for you is going to be very important for you, okay? Um, but yes, I do feel like there's some important decisions that you need to make in regards to love. Hopefully for you, it's more than one connection, right? Who is right for me? Who is, oh, what, do I, oh, what does this look like? Oh, who is this person over here? So you could have you could have a few different opportunities here for meeting people and um, you know it's maybe you're not really all that wonderful at making decision a whole bunch of decisions especially if you're doing anything like online dating or anything like that right what do you I don't know if you swipe left or right whatever that happens to be I guess it depends what app you're on or whatnot um, but that can be challenging meeting new people in itself is challenging but I find that uh, at least for me, um, you know, other people love it, but I find the online dating to be very impersonal and um, it doesn't really work so well for me. Like, you know, it's just a picture um, and, you know, half the time the picture's not real anyway, but, um, you know, or it's, you know, from like 20 years ago or something like that, right? So I just find that I don't connect with the energy that well on those dating sites, right? But you might, right? But it can be a little bit overwhelming and it also takes up some time, right? So anyway, so if you are engaging in some online dating and that kind of thing, take it slow, right? Take it slow and don't worry if you don't make a connection right away because I like to think of uh, online dating as like a highway. There's a whole bunch of people on the highway and then every once in a while they get off at an exit just to, uh, you know, say, hey, or something like that, just to check and see if you're a real human and not a bot, and then they get back on the highway, right? So it really doesn't mean anything if you don't necessarily make that connection right away. And then every once in a while, you get a little diamond in the rough. I do know some people um, who have had some very successful relationships um, from people that they've met uh, with online dating, and a couple of my best friends, they've actually been married for about, I think, 12 years now, and they met on... Uh, um, got way back in the day. I think they met on Plenty of Fish or something like that. I don't even know if that's still around or if it's the same as it was. But anyways, they met online. So um, they're very happy together now. So it does work sometimes, but it does take it. It does take some work. Anyway, um, but believe in your good karma. Believe that there's things out there for you. But remember, we do also need to process and cleanse and purge. That's what this Plutonian energy is all about. But we've got the Knight of Cups here for you, and this is your advice from Spirit, okay? Believe that there's love out there. Sometimes love starts as friendship, and if we don't set our sights any higher than that, um, sometimes we just make the connection and see where it goes. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves, right? We're looking for new love, and, you know, yeah, maybe, down, maybe you do want, um, you know, um, family and children and marriage and all of this kind of stuff, or maybe you don't, but... We put a lot of expectations on things right out of the gate. Go out on a first date without expectations. Just say, I'm just going to make a connection. I'm going to see where this goes and leave it at that, 
right? So Knight of Cups here, Spirit says, be open to love, right? Because there is love out there, um, but you do need to take some um, action towards it, okay? And there is some action-oriented energy here, um, you know, but keep that open heart, all right? And also really do trust your intuition. We've got the Queen of Swords here twice. So if you're worried about not recognizing any red flags or any signs, I don't know that you have to worry so much. All right, um, with, bo with both these Queen of Swords here, um, you've got the Justice card here, not to mention you've got your uh, star energy coming in here as well. Your intuition is very much on point, okay? So trust it, believe in it, embrace it, okay? But listen to it, all right? Uh, we have the Tower here for you as well, all right? It's time to cleanse and purge, cleanse and purge, cleanse and purge, get out of your comfort zone to make room, to make space for new love. It's time to take the plunge. It's time to take the leap. All right. The tower comes in. You might get something that is actually a really important revelation to you, especially with the Knight of Cups. Someone has an offer of love and romance. Um, you know, some uh, hand, someone has their hand in their heart. Okay. And are you going to take the plunge? Are you going to take the leap of faith? Are you going to trust this person, this energy? Talk to them. F put the feelers out there. You just never know. But the tower is spirit saying to you that you need to get out of your comfort zone in order to find what you're looking for. Okay, you do need to take that positive leap forward. But there's also this energy that there's been something holding you back in some way. So you need to be really honest with yourself. You really need to go within, connect, ground your energy, remember? Okay, and um, you know, whatever needs to be gone make it so, right? Make it be gone, right? This eight of cups here, there's something here that is, you know, an emotional block or some sadness or some sort of longing perhaps, okay? And it's time to really cut that energy, um, process it, right? Process it. So, and I think the energy of Pluto will really help you in that regard to do that. But time for some moving and shaking there with the tower, now, we do have the Queen of Swords, all right, and this is your overall outcome for your reading over the next couple of months. You know clearly what you want, all right? You've got a really good sense of direction. Your um, intuition is on point. You're very much um, embracing your inner wisdom. You've set boundaries. You're feeling really good. You've let your guard down here in this one, and, you know, with the sword pointed down, it's like, okay. I still have my sword. I can still protect myself. I can still say no. I can still cut you off at the knees um, if something's not uh, not what you're looking for. Um, but your defenses are down. So let your guard down. Open your heart, but recognize that you can say no whenever you need to say no. You can be discerning with the people that you meet or even how you meet them. Set up those boundaries. Be true to who you are, be honest with yourself, but be open to those connections. Be open to love and you will find your path forward in some way, shape or form. We also have with that the King of Cups. Well, la-di-da. Love and romance in the air. Are you ready to be swept off your feet? The King of Cups is somebody who is very mature in their outlook in love. This is somebody you can um, really open up to, someone that has love and romance in their heart. They're not afraid of expressing their feelings, their emotions. They might be very creative. They might have a profession where they use their creativity. Um, they may have some spiritual talents and gifts there as well. But the Knight of Cups here, someone has an offer for you, an invitation, a proposal of some sort. And the King of Cups here is something that can mature, something that can blossom into something very wonderful. So hold on to your hat. Um, we've got the Three of Cups at the bottom of this deck. So celebration, rejoice. This is a card of socialization, of getting together with your friends. Um, some of you might have some really good news coming in on the horizon, or you just feel more positive um, about what the future is holding for you for love and romance. So there's a little bit of excitement in the air. There's a lot of potential, a lot of possibilities coming in in your reading, but also some decisions that you are making here in the next couple of months. But 
Um, I feel like you will be very much getting clarity, a sense of purpose, sense of what it is you want. And when you know that, that's like immeasurable, right? That's a really great energy to have there in that. But especially if you can put up boundaries um, and detach from some past energies or even past people. We have exchanging gifts here for you. Someone has a gift for you. Someone has an invitation for you. Someone has something very wonderful for you, okay? So exchanging gifts, you get a gift, you get something headed back your way that you deserve, okay? So this is very similar to a Six of Pentacles energy, right? Energy circulates back to you. And just like we have the Libra energy with that Justice card, right? Good karma, the good, the energy that you've put out in the world, it's all flowing back to you now. Believe it, okay? Believe in all of the blessings, all of the good things. Remember that star energy at the back of the deck, miracles and blessings. Sometimes they're right here, right now. Sometimes they're on the horizon, but they're here. So be open and accept the gifts and the blessings that are being offered to you. It's a very exciting time. We also have clean it up, and this is in the reverse, so it's in your protection position. Something you've been holding on to, it's time to let it go. Eight of cups, right there. Repeating message, okay? Cleanse and purge, wipe the slate clean. The future is very bright, all right? I've been asked to leave that there. I hope there was something here for you, Pisces. If there was, please hit that like button there. It's free for you. Just press the thumbs up. Uh, if you did enjoy my content, um, please consider subscribing to my channel as well. And if you leave a comment in the box down below, I just might respond to you. I do read them and I do respond. So, um, but again, interaction from you, the viewer, does help the video and the channel get seen. So I truly appreciate that. A lot of work goes into these things, a lot of energy, a lot of time. But I hope you have a wonderful start to your 2024 and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.